Hello, and welcome to the Cisco Hyperflex 4.5 with Intersight video series. In this video, we will examine how to manage Cisco Hyperflex clusters. Hyperflex is Cisco's vision of how hyperconvergence should look like. The solution bases itself on consistently high storage performance, great extensibility, and resiliency. When you think about hyperconverged solutions, you will always have a hypervisor level cluster and a storage level cluster, and so is the case with Cisco Hyperflex. On a hypervisor level, there is nothing new to learn if you are already familiar with hypervisors. If you have an ESXi based cluster, then you would manage all the virtual machines by using VMware vCenter. If you have a Hyper V based cluster, then you would manage the virtual machines using Hyper V Manager or optionally, System Center Virtual Machine Manager. On a storage level, you have a number of choices how to manage Hyperflex. Hyperflex Connect, a graphical user interface, is arguably the most popular choice when it comes to storage management. But you can manage Hyperflex from REST API if you prefer a programmatic approach. You can also manage Cisco Hyperflex storage from a vCenter plugin if you have an ESXi based cluster. However, Cisco Hyperflex can also be installed and managed from Cisco Intersight. Intersight is a cloud based management platform for your Cisco products, such as Hyperflex and UCS, and third party data center solutions such as Pure, Hitachi, and NetApp Storage. With Intersight, management of Cisco Hyperflex becomes easier, especially for remote clusters. Plus, it adds predictive analytics and machine learning. Cisco Intersight provides benefits for Hyperflex Day 0, Day 1, and Day 2 activities. It is easy to deploy a Cisco Hyperflex cluster directly from Intersight, not only in your data center, but across 10, 100, or 1,000 of your remote locations. At the time of shooting this video, two types of clusters are supported for deployment from Intersight, standard ESXi-based cluster and edge ESXi-based cluster. Not only can you deploy Hyperflex clusters from Intersight, but you can also upgrade them from there. For example, for Hyperflex Edge cluster, you can perform a full stack upgrade of Hyperflex data platform, ESXi hypervisor, and server firmware directly. The process is completely hands off, and you can perform it on multiple clusters in parallel while monitoring everything from your laptop or your Android or Apple mobile device. Let's explore the management aspect of Hyperflex from Cisco Intersight. The main Intersight dashboard provides a global view of our infrastructure, such as Cisco Hyperflex and Cisco UCS. You can see that we have eight Hyperflex clusters, seven all flash and one hybrid. We can also quickly see which Hyperflex data platform versions they are running. You can see that all but one server is in perfect health. By simply clicking on the warning, this will let us drill down into the cluster. The warning appears because the NTP server configured on the cluster cannot be reached. This is something that we should address since a stable NTP source is a requirement for Cisco Hyperflex. If we go back to the main dashboard, we can further see the server contract status. In this intersight, all 70 UCS and Hyperflex servers are indicated to be under active contract status. It is always important to make sure all equipment is under contract, so when issues occur, there are no procedural delays in solving them. These are just some examples of widgets that can be found on the main dashboard. The dashboard is completely customizable. For example, let's say we want to have the capacity status of our Hyperflex clusters always visible on the main dashboard. We would simply select Add Widget and then find the widget we want. By going to Hyperflex Clusters, we can see all our clusters. From here, we can cross-launch into Hyperflex Connect. This action will open a new browser tab and establish an HTTPS session to Hyperflex Connect of our cluster. From here, we can manage things like Hyperflex data stores. Let's go back to the Intersight interface and drill deeper into a cluster by simply clicking on its name. Right away, we are greeted with summary details of our cluster, such as software versions, uptime, detailed storage information, 
and types of servers in the cluster. On the right side of this pane, there is a section for alarms and advisories that need to be addressed. Luckily for our cluster, there is none at this moment. In the middle, we have our cluster servers listed and by clicking on one, we are able to get more information about this server. We can see server details on the left, alarms, requests and advisories on the right. In the middle, we have a graphical representation of our server where we can toggle between front, rear and top view. The green overlay tells us that the server is healthy. The overlay would indicate if a component became faulty by turning red. Under the Inventory tab, we can browse through all the components of this particular server. For example, we can see that at the heart of the server, there are two Intel Xeon scalable processors and that half of the memory slots are populated using 64 gig memory sticks, leaving us room to double its memory capabilities any time in the future. In the upper right corner, we have the Actions button, where we can perform a number of different measures against this server. Among others, we can launch the server's management interface by simply cross-launching into a new browser tab. If we return back to Intersight, one of the biggest benefits of having Cisco devices claimed into Intersight is that it streamlines the process of technical support. You can simply open a case from Intersight and this action will populate the case with information related to the support contract. Even more, you won't need to generate logs, download them from the cluster and upload them to the support server because all of this is done automatically by the system once you request a support case. As you have seen, Intersight has a friendly graphical user interface. However, it also provides a RESTful API to manage devices claimed into the system, such as Cisco UCS servers and Cisco Hyperflex clusters. To integrate Intersight into your existing management tool, you can use the API reference guide in the Intersight Development Center, available at intersight.com slash API docs. Just be careful, because whatever you execute from there will be reflected as a change on your cluster. In summary, with Hyperflex, do take advantage of Cisco Intersight, which is a cloud-based solution that brings many advantages of managing clusters such as access from anywhere, central point for alarms and advisories, a streamlined support process, and much more.